this is just not how I wanted to do a gender reveal. This is like not how I wanted any of this to ever be. This is never how I pictured it. Hi my dudes, welcome back. Or welcome if this happens to be your first video, in which case please don't let it be your first video. Like literally exit out of this and go watch a different one first. If I could stop burping for like 30 minutes, that would be wonderful. I'm sorry if I look dead or sound dead. I don't feel great. It's hard for me to talk loudly, I've noticed over the past couple of weeks. I don't know if that's a pregnancy thing. Something's just wrong with me, but it's hard for me to like project my voice. I'm exhausted. My goal is to be in bed by like 2 a.m. tonight because I have a flight at 7 a.m. So I have to leave at like 5 a.m. So I'd like to get some sleep. Also, since this is the last video I will be filming before Christmas, I think it's gonna be the last time that we see my tree so i was like you know what we're gonna do this video in front of the tree because the disco tree is a moment was a moment is a vibe it deserves so much more airtime than i gave it Ooh. okay no i like colored way better because i hate warm lighting i'm a cool toned bitch okay okay i even was gonna put like a fire hello why am i forgetting basic words so much recently not a fire pit a fireplace on my tv behind me but there was like a glare situation it was also just like a lot going on so this is gonna be my pregnancy q a and i have to admit just like i've kind of been mentioning in most of my vlogs recently because i've been doing vlogmas like as best as i could honestly i did better than i thought i would especially in the beginning so if you haven't seen my vlogmas videos you might want to go catch up on those because the answers to the questions that you guys asked i actually haven't looked at them yet but i feel like if you just watch this video out of context you're gonna be like maybe confused depending on what you guys asked me and how i answer it go get caught up <laughs> get a fucking snack get some tequila drink for me since i can't so i asked on my community commu what i made a post in the community <laughs> i can't today was a okay today is not the best day to be filming because my brain is like so unwell today like yesterday a little bit today very much like i am not well like my brain is not <laughs> i'm having a hard time with like words i made a post in the community section which i never do and i just said comment your questions for a pregnancy q a bug is in her tent staring at me i'm really sad because i just said her name and she's walking over here sad because i'm leaving super early tomorrow i'm not gonna be with her for christmas which is like the first year ever I'm leaving her here for for a couple of days and one of my friends is gonna come and he's gonna play with her and feed her so i'm sad about that but anyway it says i have 32 and it's only showing me 10 but okay how much help do you actually expect from your ex um is he aware of the responsibilities that he's facing well i expect none because we haven't communicated at all in a month now so to expect anything from them except for the i mean yeah the only thing I expect from him is to not be there. Yeah, so how much do I expect? N none. Be aware of the responsibilities that he's facing? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Couldn't. I literally couldn't tell you. I can't even... I mean, I could give my guess on what's happening, but just based on how conflicts are usually dealt with or like hard things in general, I think he thinks that he couldn't like run from it or not run from it but like ignore it just pretend it doesn't exist distract himself that would be my best guess and while that may have worked so far in life i mean don't get me wrong it hasn't worked it's greatly delayed emotional development and or not even just emotional development just development overall um but there haven't necessarily been like acute consequences of doing that maybe yet in his life but i don't know i mean you would like i would like to be able to say of course he's aware because I it seems like something that everyone would know and be aware of but <laughs> to answer this i'm so out of it fuck um i don't expect help because i've been alone for the past month so from him none from other people yeah bet your ass that literally two of my long-term exes one of which i really never stopped loving even though we haven't really spoken at all um have both been like i've always wanted kids with you like i will like raise this kid with like Trust me, there's not a, gonna be a lack of a father figure. It's just like unfortunate that I'm gonna have to further stress myself out with like going through court, you know? It's just like, come on. I would rather not do that. And all you had to do was like talk to me, but whatever. Will being pregnant affect your work? Um, yes. First of all, like in the beginning and, and then I started feeling better. Well, so I felt quite sick for a few weeks. And then I was like, wow, I feel a lot better and energetic and everything. The past few days, I would say, I feel sort of 
more fatigued and exhausted but honestly that could just be because for like a month straight almost i was like not sleeping just like constantly anxious wired i don't know if it's all like hitting me and i'm not feeling as anxious and so i'm just like exhausted or if it's something to do with i don't know so that's affected my work in that sense where it's like if i don't feel as good then i can't it's like i have all these plans for work and for creative things and then like it, when it comes down to it sometimes i just don't have the energy and i don't feel good enough to execute them and that sucks um as for kind of from now on it will be affecting my work also in the sense that like it's pretty soon about to be impossible to like conceal the fact that i have a bump I've had one for maybe two, I feel like two weeks ago is when I noticed it. Over the past week, it's been more pronounced for me especially, like I notice it a lot more. So yeah, obviously for a few months, it's gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to hide it. And also for the rest of my pregnancy, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say not, but I'm almost 100% positive that I'm not gonna be filming like anything other than just solo content. And I have like pre-filmed stuff. I've tons of photos like pre-taken like i'm prepared to not film or take photos at all for like the last couple of months um but also like i don't know i haven't decided yet where i stand on like when i'm eight nine months pregnant am i going to be taking photos and putting them online on only fans you know because half of me maybe more than half of me is like of course i'm gonna do that because i this is what i do and the fact that my body is changing is not do you know what i mean and also i think like it's so beautiful and i never i mean i don't know i think it's beautiful but like do i just take the photos and not post them because it's beautiful i don't know i don't know i'm i'm still working that out in my head but as of now like i can conceal it for a while in the sense that it's not like oh my god you have a huge belly like i'm not like hiding it clearly i'm making this video but I haven't like announced on OnlyFans, you know, for the people that maybe don't watch my videos or whatever. Yeah, we'll see. I'm kind of just going with it at this point. I'm definitely filming less videos. Guys, my brain is not working. Not filming less videos, but less super explicit videos, you know. With all of this, I'm I'm getting to a point where I'm trying to like listen to my body and everything and do what feels right and not force things like I normally would do. Like if I wasn't feeling up to it, I'm like, well, I have to. But then I'm also trying to not be like too lax with myself and just be like, oh, I don't feel like it, you know? So I'm sure there's a lot of questions about, am I gonna keep doing OnlyFans? Like what is gonna happen when I have the child, you know? It's, I don't know, it's weird. It's like, it's not like this is a new question. Like there's people that do what I do that have kids and continue to do it. Will you be keeping the gender a secret from YouTube until after birth or during a reveal? Not until after birth. So I'm gonna be seeing my parents this weekend and my sister and my nieces and my brother-in-law. My nieces are young and I'm kind of thinking that, except for maybe the, my oldest niece, I'm kind of thinking that I'm not just gonna be like, I'm pregnant, cause they're gonna be like, well, well, the little ones are gonna be like, well, where's your husband? Like, how are you pregnant, you know? But I do plan on like revealing it to my parents in a cute way and like my sister. Cause I've known the gender for a month now. We were able to find out early just based on, no, more than a month, 12 weeks, just based on the positioning during this 40 ultrasound that I had. Well, they were like pretty fucking positive and then confirmed again last week at one of my appointments. So I've known, but like, I've just been so sad and I've even like called my mom, FaceTime my mom and been like about to tell her and then I just start crying and I'm like this is just not how I wanted to do a gender reveal, this is like not how I wanted any of this to ever be, this is never how I pictured it. Yeah, I do feel that and I do feel sad about that and like even my ex knows the gender because we were still talking in together when I found out. I just want it to only be like pure excitement and not like, I still have a little bit of like this is just not what I wanted it to be like. So, but yes, I will reveal. And I've been dropping little Easter eggs on social media, even on YouTube. Do you have a theme picture of the nursery? Do you have your baby's area all planned out as you do with your cat? Do you think your cat will be okay with the baby? So I'm, no, I don't have a theme picked out, but I, I'm sure I will, but I am going to be moving in the new year. I imagine once I get settled in, that's when I will start really like nesting, you know, really getting into that. I mean, I have an idea, but just based on the name that I have picked out. Are you going to date while pregnant or wait until after? How are you right now? Oh, thank you. Um, well, I did go on a date last week, but I already knew the person, have dated them before. But no, I'm not going to like, unless something crazy happens, I'm not going to like try and meet 
and date new people while pregnant. I'm really trying to, like it's hard enough to just focus on me right now. And so I don't need to get in anything that's gonna take focus or energy away from me right now. Cause it's hard enough to do that as is. And we know how I am in a relationship. <laughs> My camera just stopped, so I don't know if that recorded, but um, has your ex reached out yet? Surely he has. I can't imagine the level of self-sabotage it would take for him to try and pretend this isn't happening. Interesting. You know, knowing him as a person, I don't think it's self-sabotage. I think it's more just... What the fuck? Hi! <laughs> when I was filming this Q&A, like literally a few days ago, it's Tuesday, I filmed that on Friday. I've already been to Tennessee and back. It was... It, I mean, it was fucking amazing to see my nieces, but like the flight situation right now, like you guys know what's happening. I paid $2,800 to get back to LA yesterday because I only had a cat sitter until yesterday. So, and I also had a doctor's appointment today. So anyway, it's been a minute, but when I was filming that, my car ran out of space and I like, I was, you could tell, I think I haven't edited it yet, but like I was so out of it that day. And quite frankly, I'm still quite out of it but like in a different way today. I just have a mobile pickup for Annalise. Annalise, let me go check on that. Yeah. It's raining so it's all dark and I was like, I'll just finish this pregnancy Q&A in my car, but I'm scared it might get dark. Okay, you know, the lighting seems fine, okay? There's all these lit up shops around me, so I'm just gonna quickly answer more questions. Well, I'm just gonna say answer the rest of the questions, but this video is probably long already. I honestly can't remember how many I answered before, but I know that I probably was like rambling. And any crazy pregnancy dreams while or before or visions you knew you were gonna be pregnant before you got pregnant again? Oh, I believe you're having a strong baby boy. I wanted the same kind of candy cravings you had and another reason I think it's a boy. Okay, so yes, um, I always have had vivid dreams my entire life. Like every single night I'm having vivid dreams and when I wake up, think about them I like dissect them because they always seem to have such a like such a relevant meaning to whatever I'm going through in life but I have to I've gotten good at like trying to decipher what my dreams mean because if you just looked at it from the outside you'd be like that's so weird and random but I can tell that there is like there are reasons for the dreams that I'm having so but yes they get they <laughs> they got a lot stranger as they did the last time when I was pregnant as well um yes but I wouldn't say that the dreams were what like tipped me off I actually found out early on because I was at just like a regular appointment for just getting my endometriosis kind of checked out what have you seeing if I needed to book um why do I why am I forgetting words still laparoscopy lap I don't know where they scrape off the endometrium whatever so I found out like very early on but they keep getting <laughs> stranger and more vivid as time goes on and I would say like maybe like 80% of them are in some way related to like giving birth or not even that sometimes it'll be just be like I don't know how to explain it like sometimes I'll be giving birth to like something really weird sometimes I'm like looking at this is kind of disturbing I'm like looking at like a fish tank of sorts like if I were like to walk in the pet store also, it just started raining. I'm sorry if it's loud. Like, if you were to walk in the pet store and there's like a fish tank and you could choose like what fish you want, it it's like that, but with babies. But they're not. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I yes, the dreams are mostly revolving around infants of whatever species, <laughs> and then also a few where it's like me and I have this like two or three year old child. Every time I have that, like one of those dreams, it's weird, it kind of like picks back up where the last dream left off, even if it's been a couple nights since I've dreamt about that. So because I've always had wild dreams, vivid dreams, I wouldn't say it was like a tip off, but when I think about it, yeah, like, can I also say it's, it's weird. So going through a breakup, what is that alarm? Going through a breakup, I typically have, you know, dreams relating to that. And it's weird because I have, but it's not the person that I'm going through a breakup with. They've all been <laughs> my ex from college, um, the person I was with when I like started YouTube and everything. They've all been about him. And it's, I don't know how I get in the situation, but I'm like back in the house we used to live in. And I'm, but I'm just like, in there and then he comes home from work and 
I don't know how I'm in there, but I'm like playing with the dogs. He comes home and then like, I don't know, every dream has kind of been like, he tells me that like, he hasn't stopped thinking about me for like six years. And like, we always end up being back together in the dream, but it's always weird. We're always like, I don't know, doing something weird. And then I wake up and I'm like really sad. And I, I don't know. It kind of trips me out because I think like, likely it's probably because like, that was the only other heartbreak that I've experienced that was like but it was it was so different though because it was such like a healthy relationship and like we never had broke we were not on and off we never once broke up for all the years we were together and like it was just so the, like the opposite of the relationship I was just in I'm thinking like maybe that's why but then part of but then another part of me is like is this like my brain telling me something like am I supposed to reach out I don't know I don't know it's it's weird though but then I wake up and I'm sad none of the dreams have been like about or not about like my recent ex has not been in any of my dreams I feel like they're probably about him or about like the relationship or the feelings that I'm having but he's never in them so I don't know I think I answered this. Has he reached out? Surely he has. I can't remember. Oh yeah, I feel like I was talking about the self-sabotage thing when my camera ran out of space, or maybe not. Um, but no, answer is still no. Um, did you have any cramping or spotting in early pregnancy? I'm currently seven weeks and seven weeks, four days, and everything scares me. Oh, well, congratulations, first of all. Yes, yes. Any time that I've been pregnant, looking back, it was well the first time I got pregnant, and when it was the ectopic pregnancy. I looked back on my period app where I was tracking my period and saw that I had, I thought it was maybe a period, but it didn't really make sense because my periods are heavy and there were like two days of spotting. Looking back like that was probably, I mean it was like implantation bleeding. Yes, and then this time, similar thing, I had the implantation bleeding which I just kind of marked as like random spotting, I didn't know. Um, the next month, around the time when I sh should have been getting my period. I thought that I got my period, but I was again confused because my periods are heavy and I have endometriosis, so I'm usually in a lot of pain when I'm on them. And I did have cramping, but I was hardly really bleeding, but I was like, okay, maybe I'm just like so stressed out and whatever that like this was just my period this month. So I actually thought like I had a period. Um, and then once I found out, yes, there was also another time in November where I was bleeding for like two days I think not as heavy as my periods but it was freaking me out that freaked me out but I did have an appointment like I just happened to have one like within the I think it was the next day actually and I had everything checked out and told them about it and then very recently when I got to my hotel in Tennessee I went to the bathroom and that there was like some blood I think that could have had to do with like flying it like very minimal literally like didn't come out into the toilet but like a little bit of spotting so it, it's normal to have like some spotting and like also cramping like every time i've had cramping all throughout my the pregnancy i mean as 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 far as they have you know as far along as i have been obviously this is the first time that like i'm this far into a pregnancy but that said i've still had cramping and then like recently as i'm now further along into the second trimester like i don't know how to explain it it doesn't feel like period cramps, but it doesn't, f I don't, I really don't know how to explain it, so it's kind of hard for me to say, but I guess I would classify it as cramping. I've also started feeling, I think, I'm pretty sure, because I haven't had, like, gas since, like, the first trimester, but I was feeling, like, fluttering, but it, it feels like a little fluttery thing, and I'll feel it, I don't know, it's, well, this is recent, like, I think the day before I went to Tennessee, like I felt like this weird, like it almost felt like a heart palpitation, but like in my womb. <laughs> that was not in the question, but the bleeding and, or the cramping and spotting can be normal, but also cannot be normal. I mean, I had bad cramping in the ectopic pregnancy, but I also have it now. So it's like, you know, if it's a lot of bleeding and like severe cramping, then I would definitely go to your doctor and even maybe just mention even if you're having like a little bit of spotting and cramping, just mention it. But again, like I've mentioned it to mine and they've told me that it's normal. And like, I, I feel like you just kind of know if something is wrong, but also don't take my advice. This is just me answering a question that I was asked. Um, there's like a lot of questions about OnlyFans. That's also something that I want to make a maybe like full video on because I have thoughts on that. 
I think I've come to a conclusion for now. Like, I know that things could change when there is a baby here or when they are older. As of now and as of, like, how I was raised and things that I don't want to carry on, um, I think I've, like, come to a pretty solid conclusion with that. Yeah, I'll go into that later. Um, okay. I don't know if I freaking answered a lot of questions, but I know that I talked a lot. Oh, there also were some on Instagram. Shit. Okay. Well, that's gonna be all for now. I'm gonna have to do another one, but I did just want to get this one up because it's like, I feel like this is a pretty timely thing. Like when I'm posting videos about it, I want it to be like pretty up to date, you know, within like a week max. And so, yeah. So I'm sorry if I didn't actually answer a lot of questions, but hey, if nothing, I'm just talking about things. And I haven't even taken a sip of this again because I took one sip and it burnt me. So there's that. Okay. I was gonna do this today, but it's maybe I'll do it tonight when I'm home and I can have lights. But I wanna do, um, I wanna look up some like wives' tales about guessing the gender or like how you can tell what the gender is. So just kind of go through, say my experience. And then I'm mean, obviously I know the gender and I'm not gonna reveal it in that video, but I think it'll be interesting and you can comment your guesses. And as of recently, everyone's like, it has to be a boy. It has to be a boy. So that's, that's the consensus or yeah, that's like the majority. People are like, I just have a feeling it's a boy. So I'm not confirming or denying anything, but get, leave your guesses in this fucking shadow. <laughs> All right, bye.